Don't you dare touch her. Don't. Are you mad? She not touch my woman. Yes, don't touch her. Who the hell are you? Francis, what is going on? Mom. And what are you doing today? What is it? Mom. He came here trying to touch sister. What do you mean trying to touch her? Why would you touch her? Leave here before I change it for you. Get up and leave here. What is going on? I, I came with some provision and some stuff for her. We don't and also, need it. I came with We don't need it. We have it, don't worry. Even if you don't have anything, you don't want anything from me. So leave. I'm talking with some raw cash. Leave, go. Cash Just here, so go. Leave. What is leave. going on? We don't want you. What well, is my wife we're talking about? My wife. I died. You killed her. So get it. Never come back here again. Don't come close to my daughter. Never. Because I'll personally deal with you and get out. Get out! Baby, what happened? I am cheap. I am not happy. Honestly speaking, I am heartbroken. Came here to see my wife. Right in there, your wife came in and she chased me out. Why? Just to understand that nobody is happy with what happened. I know nobody is happy. Myself, I am not happy. That is why I'm here to see her. I am here to make amends. I even bought provisions and gave her some money, but she said she doesn't. She doesn't want it. It was a mistake, I know, and I'm sorry. That's why I'm here to, to, to make things right. Then I don't understand the type of marriage you people are into. One week, one trouble. The next minute, both of you are on top of the world. Another one, mm, cut and match, fighting every every time. This is not how my wife and, and I are enjoying our own marriage. And we are still enjoying it up to this moment. We are enjoying our relationship. Your daughter and I, are, we are enjoying our relationship. It's just a misunderstanding. It can happen to anybody. And I'm sorry about it. Okay, let me make this promise to you here. I won't hit her again. I will never touch her again. Although sometimes she's stubborn, but I can bear it because I love her. Huh? And I, I dropped some money with them, but I still have some money here because I'm a money man. They don't call me Benjamin. So this is a little Benjamin, please. Uh, Chief, just take this, manage this now. Just keep it. Please, if, if they would not, if they couldn't take it inside, there is no point taking it. Just go with the money. Eh? The mood is not right for all this now. Nobody is confiding with you. Their money is still here. Ben, just know that your money is still here. I didn't touch it. Come and take this money. What is going on? For a week now, she has not called as usual and I couldn't get through to her. What is going on? Does it mean something is going on? No. Maybe she was, she was restricted. She would have found a way to send a message across to me. It's easy to say from here. Have you forgotten she told you whom her father is? Maybe he's the one that sees that phone. Or probably restricted her from calling you. Hmm. Okay. She showed me one of her friend's place. You mean Jenny? Yes, Jenny. I'll look for her. I'll look for Jenny. That's nice. I'm so worried, man. It's so unusual. 
whole week. It's no call, no SMS, no WhatsApp. You just have to take it easy. Okay? Please forgive me. I know how hard I've been on matters concerning your heart. I know we frowned you severally. Please find a place in your heart to forgive us. Don't give up to it on us. I assure you. Definitely make it up for me. That's how guy keeps beating and beating and beating. So as I speak to you right now, she's lying down at the hospital because of him. This is bad. So, where's the place? Can't Timothy and I go there? <laughs> Not at all. It seems like you don't know Kim's father. You can't go there now. Not now. So what do we do? For now, I feel we should just wait and pray. Because her phones are still switched off. And you can't just go burgeoning into them like that. Her father will skin you alive. Hmm. Hmm. Now I see why Kim is trying to have a backup life partner with Timothy. Yes. Come on, everyone in her shoes would do the same. You don't know that that guy Ben. I hate him so much. I detest him. Like every sight of him, it irritates me because he feels. He's the only young boy who has money and with money he can get anybody he wants to get and do whatever he wants to do. I hate that about him. If you don't love a woman, why don't you let her go? It's as simple as ABC. Jenny, you just have to calm down, okay? It's not as easy as you say. Um, the thing is that um, I've heard what you said. Once Timothy comes back, I will let him know. Okay? You just have to take it easy, please. Sure, the deed has been done. What can we do? We just have to be praying for Kim right now. Because that's all she needs. I want you to do something for me. Okay? I need to speak with Jenny. Can you get out of the phone? That is still in my phone. Yes, yes. And when do you want to do that? I do. Okay. I'll check off. Alright, I'll be right back. My love. How are you today? How are you today? I'm fine. I heard someone came to the house. Yes, he did. And he left the same day. He spoke angrily to your father. So what would he allow a small boy manipulate his brain and treat his own daughter like a slave, all in the name of money? I don't understand. I trust my brother. I know what he can do. He recalled Benjamin and finished that one. If not, it will stop him. We have gone to his house to give him blows on his mouth. So they'll have man to man fight instead of him beating the woman. Trust God. Mm -hmm. 
you guys shouldn't have stopped me. Sometimes I ask myself, what is my father's good now? If dad is poor, I would have said maybe because he wants money. But dad is comfortable. Why is he doing this? Why is he trying to jeopardize my safety, my feelings and everything? Eh? You know we have spoken to him about this. But after every long talk, he will still turn around to do that which suits him. It's from your father I realize the fact that rich people are the most greedy ones. Because they will not fail to pick the small money that falls from a poor man's pocket just to add to the fleet of money that they'll be called filthy rich. I hope he's happy with my current condition. Look at me. If not for the grace of God, it would have been a different story altogether. You know where I would have been dead. All because I'm trying not to disrespect my father. I doubt if I can continue like this. I won't do this again. You know, right now, I don't think your father has come out of the shock. But I, I believe you really had it. It's okay, I'll be fine. Nothing will happen to you. Okay? Oh, my body aches everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Blood clots, arms okay. everywhere. Jane, you can see me. I'm still here. That's because I love you so much. Hmm. Really? <laughs> and um, all of a sudden, you remember my address because you want came back. But well, all the while you were busy punching her, you didn't know to come to my house, right? Now listen to me, Mr. Benji. I don't want to have this word with you and I will never even mention it to Kim because I know she doesn't even want to hear it. Leave my house. Why are you acting like this? Is there no forgiveness in the mission? Oh, I see. Can't you guys forgive me? I said I am sorry. This man sitting here is sorry and it won't happen again. Alright? <laughs> Please talk to her, let her come back to me. I'm missing my soulmate so much. Mr. Benjamin. Please leave my house. I don't have time. How much is your time? Mm. I will buy your time for the rest of the day. <laughs> Everything is nice. I don't blame you. That's all you know. Money and then... <clears throat> Please leave my house. Take a walk. Take a walk now. I'm going out. Can't you see? You're delaying me. She's better. Of course she's better. Apologize to her. Try to pump her high a bit. Stop this your high-handedness. It's always good to listen to your parents. Come in. Who is there? Come inside. Come in, come come in. in. there. Hospital. Oh, good how evening, how sir. Yeah. Fine, mommy. Good evening. Good evening. Baby, how are you? Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank good you for coming. Um, sit down, please. This is my mother. This is my father. Dad, mom. This is. Timothy and this is Joe, <laughs> they are my friends. Oh, Hello, how are you? How are you? Well, I think at this point of the day, okay. Oh, yeah, excuse you. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right. Jenny, how is the people? <laughs> yeah. This huge man. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's all right. How are you? I'm getting better. To the glory of God, the doctor said I'll be out of here in the next few days. Thank <laughs> God. I'm super excited to see you. 
I hope you're getting better. Yes, I am. I can't wait to live here. Hospital is one place I don't wish even my own. I'm sorry for everything. Joe, thank you. Thank <coughs> you. It's all my fault. No, I yes. no. I caused it all. I'm glad everything happened this way. Stop it. Stop saying that. Remember what the doctor said. He said that this was a narrow escape. So we should thank God that you are alive. Yeah. I'm grateful to God and I've promised myself that this will never happen again. I will never go back to Benjamin again. Never in my life. It's alright. Just get there first. With you guys, I'm alive. With you guys, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. You're welcome. Thank God you're alive. Thank God you survived it. Thank you. <laughs> Dad, I beg you in the name of God. And everything, I mean everything about Benjamin before I leave this hospital. Please. Please, promise me you will do that. Um, um, there is this adage I had from my father that if you are in a good mood with someone, you must reserve the mood for quarreling. Or if you are quarreling with someone, you must reserve the one to make peace. Chief, I'm not talking, man. Allow me to finish what I want to say. Um, the, the issue is that we are not going to throw them away to the capital. Just like that. But not what? Not what? If I am a baggy. Dad, with all due respect, I will make this clear and known to you. I will never, never in my life go back to Benjamin again. I won't let you use me as a sacrificial lamb. If you don't care about my safety, if you don't care about my welfare, I love myself so much to care about me. That in case you forgot to so soon what the doctor said, go and meet him again. Tell him to explain clearly to you once more. Do you know the, do you know the damage, the blood loss everywhere my body aches? And you're telling me about adage that has nothing to do with my safety that I would never, there is nothing on earth that will make me go back to Benjamin. Else you kill me. Even my dead body will not go back there. My spirit will refuse to go back there. No one with one leg dies with that particular leg that is still standing. That is what I'm driving at. Just try to understand me. There's nothing to understand. Jeez. Nothing. Nothing. For God's sake, I don't want you to argue with your daughter. I don't want you to disagree with her. Rather, agree with her. Make her to heal, not to scratch the wound afresh all over. What is wrong with you? Father, we are here to stop some noise. Mrs. Cesar, it is not so you know. I already told you. It's not your son. Why don't you allow me to discuss with him when I play with you? I heard it clearly. And even while I am still sleeping, I know my son's voice. Yes. The way you're saying those things, Mrs. Sazako, it is beginning to sound embarrassing. People share the same voice, the same face, even the same body stature here and there. If your son calls, there is no way I will hesitate to tell you by your husband. I cannot give you phone to start speaking with someone else. Father, do you know how far I can go through this? I can bet my life that the voice is my son's voice. I heard it clear. I now be begin to believe what my husband told me the other time. That you've been communicating with my son. Because there is nothing that my son does without telling you. Yes, that is for sure. Um, Mrs. Sazako, I hope you saw some parishioners waiting to see me. 
I think it's a high time I meet you from the question. Do you need to waste my time? I'm asking how to. Um, so my regards to you. But still big man, under the sea, under the sea. Big man, that's the big man. He will listen, he will listen. Come on, as no say. If you come man, you have no say. Big man, that's the big man, under the sea. Big man, that's the big man. He will listen, he will listen. Come on, as no say. Big man, that's the big man. Oh, that was here. Oh, that was here. He will listen. It's not about money and wealth, but determination in one's life matters. Yeah. In Stop this me. life, what's the meaning of that? Are you feeling the vibe? Can you see now the atmosphere has changed? crystal to you that there is a big difference between a normal human being. Ben, things have changed. You can be coming around as before. Chief, <laughs> what do you mean things have changed? Have you forgotten who you're talking to? Benjamin. Benjamin the money-making machine. Benjamin, one of Italy. I am done with Malaysia. You are you talking to me like that? You need not to remind me. I know who you are, Ben. But what I'm telling you is that after that incident, things are no longer the way you should. I can rechange things, Chief. I have too much money. Oh, come on, check me out. Look in a bear bear. Eh? Look in a bear bear. I have made money. Excess money. You don't need to tell me all these things. Money rules the world. You cannot eat without money. You cannot live without money. You can't even breathe without money. As a matter of fact, your family right now is my responsibility. Your daughter is my wife to be. Your daughter is my responsibility. You know I love her so much. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Kolos man. Listen, Chief, I have good news for you. <laughs> yeah, All right. Because I cannot come here empty handed. I know what to do. Benjamin, one of you, is not a guy name. All right. So I have this huge offer for you two contracts just for you. I got it yesterday, but now I want to channel it to you. So you will help me talk to your daughter, my love. To come back to me. Alright? Nobody's perfect. I am ready to change things. I'm ready to make amends. Two contracts, solid ones, worth of millions. <laughs> I, I think I am I'm in for this year. <laughs> oh, I can fall for the temptation. Good. But you know I am not the one that will live with you. And that's what my family has 
been accusing me of. Forget about your family. Forget about everything. You are the man. Huh? You are the man of this house. You think this white monster is for fancy? Ah, nah, there is a reason God gave you all this. <laughs> Come on. Take responsibility, my dear. Huh? Listen, I will give you more money. Convince her. Talk to her. Huh? To come back to you. I can even give you money that will elongate your life. You will live more than 150 years. I know what I'm talking about. I just need your daughter by my side. I need her to be rubbing and warming my bed. All right? Do something. Do you know what happened? Let's find somewhere a cool and serene environment so that we'll talk. Because if things are no longer the way it used to be. Be a wise man. If my son <laughs> comes around now, that my son somewhere. I know where you're driving at. All right. Place I will make it. Make it I'll make it three. Contrast for it. Right. Yes, I will give you three. All right, four. It's okay, Chief. Five contrast for you. Con open that gate. I said, open that gate. I like to go to Colombia. Five contracts for you. Enter the world. Let's go. Huh? Listen, I will take care of you. Everything is not about money and wealth, but determination in one's life matters. In this life, you must give to receive. If you give love, you must receive love. If you give joy, you will feel joy. Big man turns to big man. On the Bazia, on the Bazia. Big man turns to big man. He will listen, he will listen. But man has no say. Man talks to big man on the bus here, on the bus here. It won't be still. Yes. Yes, come in. Hello. What's Who happening? do we have here? Welcome, darling. I'm fine. What are you Sit down. Mm -hmm. Well, business as usual. You can Ooh. say that again. <laughs> so, um, where is your friend? Not yet back, but we'll be back soon. Okay. Yes. Um, he's such a nice person. I can't <sighs> believe such people still exist. I mean, he has kept you in his house for months without taking a dime from you. That's worthy of appreciation and applauds. Well, it's a brother from another mother. Look, I want to thank God for bringing a few good women like you to transform my life. Thank you very much, Kim. Mm, it's okay. Thank you. It's okay, you're worthy of it all. You deserve it. And more. I love you, Kim. I love you right back. Oh, my phone. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hi, Jenny. Jenny, you are the only one that can stop me from entering my heaven. So how may I help you? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, I'll talk to him. Bye. Allow me to have peace. I'm so sorry about it's that. It's okay, I understand. Mm. I understand. So. Uh... 
<laughs> so how is business and everything? Uh, fine. I mean, everything has just been going so well. I can't complain. I'm glad. <laughs> what? Ah, Kim, you've been smiling and you're so happy. Mm, what do you want me to do? It's not my fault. Everything played out for itself. <laughs> Benjamin beat me up, kept me in the hospital for weeks to prepare my emotions for the new era of my life. Mm. I'm ready to live it to the fullest. You can say that again, my friend. <laughs> and all I can say is congratulations. Thank you. It's not easy. Thank you. <laughs> and Thank to keep you. this phone flying, Wilson called me, my fiance. Mm -mm -mm. Love is in the <laughs> air. <laughs> he said he'll be coming back by December to pay my bride price. Yes. Well, 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 I'm ready for the chief bridesmaid's duty. Of course. Congratulations. Of course. <laughs> Congratulations, darling. Thank you so oh, much. This is, this is really good news. You're not supposed yeah. to even say it quietly. You're supposed to be shouting. Right? Yeah. So we should go and pop, right? <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so happy for us. There's like, nothing see. like, you know, having your own man. Someone that yes, really Someone that treasures you. you. Yeah. Someone that treats you right. That's the best thing that can happen to anyone. I'm happy for us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving you. Kim, how can you say that? Mom, why won't I say that? I'm a full grown woman. I deserve happiness. It's the man I love. It's the man I want to be with. As a matter of fact, I'm telling you this so you can find a better way to communicate it to Dad. Please. Wow. Only God will start the same to take it. I don't know. Do I really care? I don't really care. I've moved on. I've long moved on. I will never go back to bed. Just not you. Ah, Sam. Kim, I hope you know him very well. You know your father. He will ask you all manner of questions. Just hope you know him well. Don't go and take him, start to to your father. Mom, I understand. I know you well enough to love him. Yes. I would like to bring him Yes. I'm tired of hiding him. The truth is, I can hide him forever. You want me to meet the absolute love of my life? Uh, uh, I just want you to be careful. Just be careful. I want you to be in control of your destiny. And I want you to ship it the way you want. I'll try my best to see what I can do for you. But in the meantime, I want you to be careful. Thank you so much. Now it's at I love you more. Mommy, watch it. It's poor. Baby girl, watch it. Watch it. It's wretched. I'm just a little bit for me. It's my chance. I love it like that. It is poor. I love it. It's wretched. I'm just a little bit for me. It's my chance. I love it like that. Love is special. He knows my and, and what's the meaning of this? What are you doing here, Mr. Benjamin? You're asking me what I'm doing here. Excuse me, Mr. Don't you get it? I said, what are you doing here? Do you know you're a wicked person? Hello? You act nice. You look nice. Meanwhile, your heart is full of evil. So because my wife and I are having issues, instead of you to make sure that we are back happily, the only thing you are good at is to put fire, to make her run away from me. And then you claim a good girl in my face. Very pissed. Are you dumb? <laughs> you know what, Mr. Benjamin? I think you should go home and ask yourself some question because you are your own biggest problem and the earlier you realize that the better for you 
Did you hear me? I said leave my house now. Have you ever wondered why you can't see the man? Because you lack attitude. Hey, what in God's name are you doing here? Take your car out of my way. I don't want to get it out of you. Babe, what is going on? Why are you treating me like this? Who is your baby? Don't come one inch close to me. You won't like me. Take your car out of my way. Please. I need to leave here right now. Please. Simple. Why are you acting like this? Huh? Why are you acting like this? I'm sorry. Alright? You're my woman. I want us back. She's deceiving you. This your friend here is deceiving you. Obviously. You are the one who is deceiving yourself. I will never come back to you. I'm done. Don't make me place the call. Don't make me call the police and tell them you, you, you are stopping me from my movement. You know what that means? You can't do that. Alright? I am sorry, I am sorry. Let's go back in. Let's move on. Alright? Listen, I'm here to make a man. I will never do anything to help you. I promise you. Are you serious? Like you're serious? Yes, trust me. Don't make me call the police. In case he didn't tell you, let me say it to your face. I am done. Then I deserve better. And I have said better. <laughs> Excuse me. Leave me my house. Are you you won't call? like what I will do to your car. Mr. Benjamin Lee, can you leave my gate? I will call the cops to come and beat you. Get out. Hey, don't, don't even speak on the Now take your guilty car out of my house or I call the cops. You can never get married. Please, go and... <clears throat> you can never get married. Go and... Girlfriend, so why did you ask me to stop the car? King? I don't know. I, I just feel like we're too harsh on him. In the way we spoke to him and blast him and everything. Are, are you serious? No, Jenny, are you, are you truly listening to yourself? Did you hear you speak? Don't tell me you're beginning to, to have sympathy for Ben. No, really, just that. Just that what? You're really beginning to make me angry. In fact, I'm so livid right now. You know the story. You know everything. You know how this guy restricted me from my normal life, treated me like a piece of trash, used me as a punching bag. What don't you know? Jenny, tell me, what don't you know? All I'm just saying is that, not like I support him, never. But I was just feeling like it was just too much. The way we just feel like he deserves it and more. Here you are telling me you're feeling for him. You're the, I was even applauding you on my mind. You acted so well. I love the way you spoke to him. And here you are regretting it. Right? Okay, I get it. Now what you said earlier is beginning to make sense to me. You said, are you sure you can do this? I, yes, I can do this. I have made up my mind. I know Timothy is not rich, but I've tested a rich guy and it almost cost me my life. I won't take that risk again. I deserve love, I deserve respect, I deserve pampering. And all of that, Timothy is given. Okay? So if my father has paid you money to first act like you're with me, then start talking me into going back to them. Make me worst way and see it. And if you dare say anything contrary to my happiness, you will leave me with no option than to walk you out of this car and end our relationship. Because if you care for me as your girlfriend, you will care about my safety. Calm down. There is no way I will ever support him over you. Boy. Feeling for him for what? It's all right. Did you feel for me? I was in the hospital for weeks. Did you really feel for me? I So, babes, I would want you to come to my house this weekend. Yeah. Isn't that rather too early? Mm. We've known for some time now. I want to introduce you to my family. I need them to share their opinion about you. The earlier they start accepting you, the better for all of us. <laughs> you have everything plotted and planned. 
Well, uh, let's see how it goes. This weekend. Okay. All right. Okay. You lead, I'll follow. I will lead, lead us right. Even if your heart is made of stone, Kim, you should have listened to the young man and see if he has genuinely repented. Dad, not when I've moved on. What do you mean when you have moved on? I asked you a question. Chief, what she was trying to say is that she doesn't want to have anything to do with any man or any woman. She wants to be on her own till further notice. Really? She doesn't want to get married. Or are you waiting for me to marry you? Dad, that's not it. Mom, please let me talk. It's high time I spoke, Mom. That the truth is, I've started seeing someone else. I'm already in a relationship. He loves me, respects me, and I love him too. See what you have cost. I was trying to give you a sign. Look at you, even touch you, so that you will listen. But your mouth will not stop running like tap. You don't know what he's up to. You know your father. Oh, I'm not scared. Yes, you guys wouldn't rather have me die inside fire with the fear of what will happen when I come out. Let me come out of the fire and face whatever it is that I see. It is better for me. It's all good, but you don't know how this will end. I know it will end well, and I don't like it when you sound this way, Mom. I'm not a child. Look at me. I'm not getting any younger. You think I don't know my left from my right? I'm no longer a child. Please, Mom, give me some credit. It's your father. I'm I know the problem. It's your father. Then talk to him. I can't continue with Ben. I deserve better. And I've seen better. Best. There you go again, Papa. When you start speaking in proverbs like this, it means that I'm getting more than I bargain for. Then you go ahead with the book you are Really, Papa? Going to Kim's place is like climbing a mountain. When you climb the mountain and stand on top of the mountain, no matter what you are going to do, you will do a perfect job to climb the mountain. Remember, you have gone down out of the building and do for you what no lady can do. But she keeps talking about her father as a stumbling block. If you know the truth, if the mountain is smooth, we wouldn't climb it. Francis, my friend is here. Hi, how are you? Hi, Mom. I'm fine, Mom. Where is that? This is my wife, my beloved mother. Hello, Ma. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. Hello. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Where is Dad? Oh, he stepped out. He had a phone call. Had to leave. Uh, please sit. Thank you. Your mother is beautiful. I know. <laughs> Outside. 
Princess, I don't know what you're talking about. Please. What are you doing here? Would you, you keep him coming? Mm -hmm. This is not so bad. Go and stay with him. So cute! <laughs> Just get it. Maybe that was what attracted you to him. He's cute. Not just about his cuteness. I love his personality. I love everything about him. He's a normal man. He talks to me. Oh, it's red. <laughs> Every good thing is red. Let's not keep him waiting. Mm -hmm. Get him something to eat and drink. Let's enjoy him. How do I look? Intense to have seen the excitement on my mom's and my sister's faces. They were so excited. My sister said, Oh, sis, you've got eyes for a beautiful day. <laughs> oh, that's what my mom said. <laughs> now I know why you love him so much. He was cute. <laughs> <laughs> accepted him with open arms. Are you serious? So tell me, hope your father also loved him. Unfortunately, we weren't able to meet my dad. He wasn't home. Then why are we celebrating me? Eh? Until your father accepts me. There is no need for the celebration. You're right. You're right. But Jenny, what if... Okay, what do you think I should do if my father refuses to accept him? I don't know. That's the, that's the point here. How do you brought the money to this house? Yes, Dad. He's my friend. So you've been seeing this man while you are still with him? No, Dad. How come you trusted a man you just met? Trusted him to the extent that you love him, you believe you can live the rest of your life with him. Dad, the truth is, I didn't just meet him. I know him even before I started dating Ben. But we're just friends, we're not dating. After Ben put me in the hospital way, we met again and we started. Which means you've been using him as a cover up, a stooge, because you're angry with Ben. No, that's not the truth. I love him. I'll never go back to Benjamin. I would rather die than go back to him. Maybe you take my dead body to him, but for me, it's over. You love him? Does he love you? Yes, Dad. He loves me more. In that case, tell him I want to see him this weekend. Thank you. so pleased to meet you. this madness. What in God's name are you doing here? So it's true. Hmm? Because of this low life, this riffraff, you left light to join darkness. 
Really? I know you're not expecting me to answer such silly, useless question. Will you kiss him back from here? Are you, are you yes, mad? Yes, Do you know who I am? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Benjamin, one of Europe is talking. You want to inter you, Do you want to come close to I'm me? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, you mad dog, it's high time you chained yourself. What is wrong with you? I am done and done forever. You will never ever have me again. Really? Yes. And let me make a point clear to you. I was never with him when I was dating you. You don't know the value of what you have. Now you have lost me. Cry on, baby boy. Keep crying. You think it's all about money? Yeah. You can go out there and get yourself some girls that are so, so carried away with money. Yeah, People who don't care about their peace of mind. I, I don't fall in that category. If you want to have a queen like me, you must treat me right. And let me make it clear to you. I am done. Don't ever try this rubbish again. I am going there to start my car. If you don't take this shit out of here, I'll break your windscreen and wait for your lawyer. I am disappointed in you. Who gives a So, who? so, so, you were actually seeing him while you're with me? Really? You're nothing but a prostitute. Listen to me. I own you. Hey, please take off your filthy smelly hands off me. You just talked about light and darkness. If you need to know, need I remind you, you are the darkness here. And he is the light. Who is the light? I am done with you. Let's go. Rubbish. We're late. I think don't I'm worry, scared of we can take the other way. There's a way around. No, 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 no. He wants to leave No, no, we don't have to give him that energy, okay? It's a waste of time. Bro, I bet you're so right now. You don't know how to treat a woman, right? Now you've lost me, you want to cry foul. My dear, <laughs> this stupid guy told me, he said, I am disappointed at you. You left light for darkness. No. I looked into his eyes I made him to realize that he was actually the darkness I was stuck with for years. That's good. You did well. But, Kim, can't you see? Your father is still blowing whistle for that Benjamin. He said he does not know what my father is up to. But he said I can bring Timothy to our house by weekend. For real? Yes. I don't trust your father, so you have to tell Timothy to get ready. And you too, you have to get ready. Because your father can be up to anything. I just pray he's not up to any mischief. Because if that happens, Timothy and I will disappear from. Space. Nobody will see us again. Yes, you might see us maybe after 10 years when we start done having kids. I won't let anyone ruin my happiness. Okay. Wait, okay. Running away is not the solution. And before you do anything, I want you to do something. Really deep. So you don't make mistakes. I've given it a deep thought, darling, friend. And I realized that then. It comes to my life. Timothy is a blessing. And I wouldn't do him for anything. Yes, not even my father would let me change my life. I just don't understand how he chased me all the way to my shop. After blocking Kim and I from going out. I mean, how does it make sense? When a woman leaves a guy, you should go back to the drawing board and find out what the problem was and fix it rather than disturbing the man that she she chose over him it doesn't make any sense come on timothy why are you sounding as if we didn't talk about this why are you sounding as if you didn't you're not aware of all these things that is happening you know about it see let me tell you it's part of those things so embrace it as a matter of fact these are the things that cement love if you must know. No. Not when he sees me as a stumbling block. That's his headache. This situation is making me restless. Listen, Timothy. With the things you told me, King said to him, you have nothing to worry about. Oh, yes. What you should be thinking now is King's father. That man is too quiet for my liking. That is the thing you should focus all your energy on. Try to find a way to win his heart. 
But let me tell you, once you win that man's heart, to hell with the king's ex-boyfriend. You understand? So channel your energy to winning his heart. Not this one you're here worrying yourself over Benjamin or whatever you called him. Ben. Yes. I've been preparing my mind to meet Kim's father. See that he likes me or not. Worst case scenario, he will tell me to stop seeing his daughter. Can you win? Of course not. I'll persist. I'll persist until he accepts me. That's what I want to hear. You don't worry yourself, okay? The most important thing is that the girl likes you. It's not as if you are the one begging her to accept you. So you have nothing to worry about. Focus on the papa. And the, 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 main, the, the problem is there. He is poor. He is wretched. Understood. Living for me is my choice. Love me like that. He is poor. He is wretched. Understood. Living for me is my choice. Dad. This is my friend I told you about. His name is Timothy. Timothy yes. meets my beloved girl. Oh, my son, please make yourself comfortable. No, mm, not so fast, no man. Keep standing. Mm -hmm. All right. What's your name? Okay. Timothy Okorafo. Yes, I heard you. Your true resume. Okay. Um. I am from a village called Umaizechua in Umujoka, Anambra State. Um, my father is Joseph Ndulue Okorafo. Are you sure? Will you address me properly before I, 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 I throw you out? So, my son, address him by chief. Address him with chief. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, chief. Sorry about that. Um, Chief, my father is a, a respectable man in our village, a noble man, the former vice chairman of the Carpenters Association. In fact, he's a great carpenter, one of the best in the area. Yes. What? Carpenter? Yes, sir. Son of a carpenter in my house. You see your life. See how low Myself, bringing some of the common cabin back. So you say, chairman of cabin. You see what we're talking about? Oh, yes. Bringing the, the, the son of a cabin back. Cabin, ordinary cabin back. You survive. Dad. So, survive what to do? Just want to embarrass ourselves here. We have a guest. Let come down. Chief, please calm down. Dad, I don't understand what you're doing. This is my happiness we're talking about now. Do not ruin it, Dad. Please. It's, it's all right. It's all right. I even forgot that. Bible is our standard of life. The way we live is regulated and regimented in the Bible. And I hope you have your phones because the Bible act on your phone. So take your phone and join me. Chief, I don't know what you're about. Whatever you are, that is what do you want. Tell it's what do you want. That's why you want. We want to go to the Bible. We'll go to the Bible. The Bible is our standard of life. Uh, go to Genesis, the book of Genesis. Uh, Genesis chapter 29, verse 18 to 20. Are you there with me? Yes, Dad. Jacob was in love with Rachel. So he said, I will work seven years for you if you will let me marry Rachel. 
Then 19 says, Laban answered, I would rather give her to you than to anyone else. Stay here with me. Then let's go to 20. Eh? Eh? 20. Jacob walked seven years so that he could have Rachel. And the time seemed like only a few days to him because he loved her. Underline word. Jacob walked seven years. And I'm good. So, my dear son, if you are ready for my friend, let me borrow a leaf from my friend in London for my word of education. So, if you are ready to serve me, work for me for a year, then my daughter is all yours. Come on, Jim. This is unfair. Dad, what are you doing? Very, very unfair. This is not Bible days. This is unfair. The word he said is unfair. Well, it's unfair. Dad, this is crazy. Truly, this is absolute crazy. Oh, gee, this is impossible. No man will be able to do this. This is very, very impossible. Sweetie, I'm trying to protect you. If he genuinely you told me he loved you, if you genuinely believe that he loves you, let him go ahead and do it. Oh, yes, serve me for one year, then have you whole and entire. Young man, are you ready? That's Your time starts now. That, that's ridiculous. This is serious. That's so absurd. It's all head of that. One, two, 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 three. Oh, do it. Do what? <laughs> I'll do it. Young man, listen. Yes. It's not as easy as you think. It comes with a price. You work for me for one year. And the Lord says you will not be seen anywhere around now. No solution, no hanging around. I have CCTV camera all over the place. If I does see you, I throw you out. Mom, don't you see the old thing is taking my sister away from home? I mean, we will barely sit and talk like before. So? <gasps> Are you a baby? Can't you dress up? What's your palava? No, oh, Mom. She promised to lecture me on something. But right now, I have to hold on to further notice. Come on. You know your sister. She can easily come back now. Say, Let's go. You have to get yourself prepared. Besides, your sister is going to need a lot of money. So sympathize with her this period. Mom, that is what I don't like. Is that same person going through a lot with her? I mean, Benjamin. I, don't know if, I wish you can just get rid of him. I'd be so happy. Okay. Your sister is a factor. She put in this one as well. Like all of this. Trust me, everything will be fine. Hopefully, more hopefully, the new things will be fine. Just believe. Doing this for you. Kim, I'm ready to do anything to be with you. Anything. Okay? Look, I don't care. I can even do more than this. Just to prove that I want to be with you forever. I love you so much. And nothing else matters. 
Baby, no, don't cry. Don't start crying, please, please. Keep my faith in the name of God. Don't cry. If your father comes out here now, I'll be in trouble. Please, don't start crying, please. Please, don't cry. Sister, I think he knows what he's doing. You should let him be okay. Shut up you? your mouth and get out of here. Now! Who asked for your opinion? Get out. Sorry, you. No, 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 no. If your father comes out of here, sees you like this, I'm fired. I would rather have him beaten than him and meet you to the truth. You love me. Then you have to trust me. I know what I'm doing. The end justifies the means. Please, just go back inside. Mom! someone else's son all in the name you want to test his will who does that point of correction i did not force him to be here he came here on his own volition my husband he had a business running before now all these things you're doing will contradict the format it will change everything you're trying to do maybe you didn't get me right I said the young man made his choice. Yes. He made his choice. I said the young man made his choice. Dad, that's a big lie. You didn't give him options. Let's assume an umbrella walks in here and asks for your BVM. With gun pointed on your head, what will you do? Won't you surrender? What kind of useless instance is this? Kimberly, I have told you to come down, yet you will not let no, me to let me be. Were you not there when dad was acting in a very awful manner? Were you not there? What did you do? Kimberly, can you come down? Timothy! Timothy! Get me a glass of water, please. A glass of water? Get me a glass of water. I said get me a glass of water. Are you dead? Okay, okay. dead. okay sir. Ask us to go get a good glass of water. I am here. Kimberly is here. Allow this boy to be. Allow him to be. Let him do what he is trying to do. The water is ready. Who asked you to serve me water in another person's glass? This what is not is my glass. glass. Musa! Oh my god. Sir, sir, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you had a special glass. I'm sorry, sir, please. Sorry. Are you that stupid? So Will you get out of here before I break your head with this glass? Sir. Sorry, sir. Matthew, I don't know you to be like this. What has come over you? That when have you become so inhumane? You don't have any reason to embarrass him like that. You just humiliated a young man, Dad. That's wrong. I don't know you to be like this. What has come over you? If you know what is good for you, keep out of this. Allow this young man to concentrate and do the job he is assigned to do. Water? Water? I could quickly go bring for you. Is it you're calling a full-fledged young man to go bring for you? Yet you, you splash him with the water. Let's go. When I fuck you, there is a like that for Chidi Bezimo Mad. You're so wicked.
baby girl. What is wrong with you? Since you got here, you've been like this. What's happening? Talk to me. Jenny, I don't understand why my father would have a part of a beast. What has he done this time and why are you condemning him so bad? The question should be what has he not done? My father is frustrating my love life. As I speak to you, the absolute love of my life is currently serving in my house as a son. You mean Timothy? How? What happened? Okay, one time like that, my father told us a story about how his friend's daughter planned with his friend to turn the super into a house. And that's actually to chase him away. And? <laughs> I don't get this. And the day I introduced Timothy to him, he went on to read the Bible verse, I think Genesis 29 or thereabouts, where Jacob came to marry Rachel and Rachel's father asked Jacob to serve him for seven years. I know that story, so what does the story have to do with all this? That's exactly what my father is implying. He said that if Tim really wants to marry me, he be sure he's in love with me and can do anything for me. And he has to work as a household in our house for one year. Wait, you, you mean? Timothy left the shop he opened for me to come work in the house. What, what, what's, what's going on? What's wrong with your father? Why is he treating him like that? My father wants him to do all manner of house chores just to humiliate him. Who kind of father does this to his job? Oh, that's not true. How am I It's okay. Please, just put yourself together. You know, when something good is coming, there's a lot of temptations. And this is one of them. And my father is my teacher. Doesn't make sense. But what can you do? I think we should just um, look for a solution to this. Oh, there is no solution. Team is currently serving. He said he would do it. I don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll look for something to do. Should I get you? Juice, maybe to calm you down. Mm, that's just frustrating. Frances, how are you? I'm fine. Hmm. Let me ask, what kind of a man are you? A, a simple man. A simple man who chose to see the world from a different point of view. Wow. And you think my sister, who you are loving, has to accept this way you choose to express your love to her, right? Frances, my dear, I don't know what you know about love. But love is a beautiful thing. Love is a wonderful thing. And love is also a crazy thing. Mm -hmm. We find love in unusual places. And in unusual circumstances, the most important thing is what do you want from love? I don't want to ask. What do you want? Mm -hmm. What do you really want? Look, Francis, I just, I just want a woman I can raise children with peacefully. Mm -hmm. I want a woman that will look into my eyes. I understand my love language. 
a woman that would give me peace of mind. And in return, I will love her, I will cherish her, and I will adore her for the rest of our lives. I just want a woman who would grow old with me, peacefully. Yes. That's okay, then. I, I wish you good luck, because you need it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Bye. you very much. Enjoy your watching, okay? Alright. I still don't get lost your face. What I'm trying to say is that my first name took your son to see the father. I don't understand it. But what I don't understand is how my son will go and make such a move without informing me. Getting a such a disgraceful agreement. As if he has no family member. Everybody is a little family. What about his little family? Who is handling it? As you see, the shop is totally lost. He abandoned it. And he's determined to Everybody has been talking to Timothy, but he doesn't want to lose it. No, the shop is perfect. How can King's father push my own soul to the wall? Eh? If you don't want someone, you better tell the person to leave. No, 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 sir. See, father asked Timothy to leave. But Timothy insisted and said he will remain here. Sir, you need to call him here to see this in the store. Because we are all. Timothy is not listening to anyone. Maybe he could listen to you. That is why I'm here. What are you doing here? I should be asking you what you're doing here. Leaving your business behind. I'm talking to you. Uh, Papa, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Jenny, what did you tell my father? You should be talking. He said. Will you follow me? Let me get out of here. What's going on here? You don't leave this and follow me. Let me get out of here. I'm not here to pay any stupid visit. I came here to take my son home. I don't know what you did to a full grown man leaving his business and life to come and serve you. Is that not wickedness? I need to stop my business. When the stupid lies you have told me, I'll do it. But one thing is certain. I will not have you come to my house to abuse me upon the fence I know nothing about. Boy, so hard. Your father is here to take you home. This woman is with you. Get up my house. Please, I'm sorry about all this. I can explain. I, I, I promise I'll make it up to you. Please. That's your own property. Let's get out of my house. What is wrong with you, Timothy? No, tell me. What has come over you this time around? Papa, please, can you... Can I see you for a minute? Just one minute. Can we... Please, Papa. Where is this hopeless Njoku behaved man? Idiot! Haboki, I call you Njoku because people that answer Njoku behave well. Thank you, Njoku. 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 Thank you, Nj
the son of man in the gate. He's like, oh, yes, that's the gate. He said, oh, foolish. If you are last, he has a good job. Come on, how should you see What is going on? What has he done this time around? For the sake of love, your friend has already forsaken his newly opened business to go and serve Kim's father at Kim's house to get Kim in return. Jenny, to be honest, you are confusing me. Wait, I thought you went there with Kim. <laughs> he went there with Kim, but now he's serving there. He's going to serve there for one year. One whole year. This is strange. I thought he went there with Kim. <laughs> you know what, Joe? Just go in there, dress up. Let's go there so you see things for yourself. Um, the thing is that it's already late. We definitely will not meet up. But Jane, please explain to me what is going on. Because I tried calling his number, but it's not going through. Oh, you're even calling him. <laughs> Your friend has gone mad. You know what? He's determined. He switched off his phone. He doesn't want anybody to call him or disturb him because he has already made up his mind on what he wants to do. So there's no need you say you want to just go in there, dress up. Let me take you there. That's all. Hmm. Yes. Small over. One letter, I know what you do. I know what you do, Mona. Come, make her ask me a question. If you know people cost of money, what I want to buy me for inside for this one part, on the don't go with man. It's your choice. Mine is because of my woman, my everything. Smaller, smaller, Mona. But like you see that size way at the party, that thing they go for like this, Mona. But like that, that size, the difficult work, what's in the water, great. But like very, very you come people, you come do all this, you come go inside, you come, you come run, you go inside the money. The task is not an easy one. Not everybody will appreciate it. But the end will justify the means. Oh! Wow! Small of wow! But let's tell me I get it done for you, man. Every time. You see you for like this, Wale, you are the to me. Wale, how can you try, man? You try, how can you do it, Baba? Nothing good comes easy. Oh, Baba. I'll call the blessing. This one is surely not an easy one. I'll call the blessing. I'll be fine. What way are they for heaven, Wale? Tell me, how they bless me, man? Amen. What I will, I will increase my power, man? Amen. What, what I will give you, that's the way you are found and come for this place. Amen. So say, man. Oh, you can't go. You are starting to laugh. You want me to get in trouble in my walking You want me to talk to you. Come down, come down. You don't understand me. So, even though that I know you too well, 
see what you know that you are my guy. No, 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 don't tell me to come down. If what you, I know you do, I would have said they have given you the job. No, this is all you now. You know, they have given you the job. Are you there for it? What is going on? You know, what has come over you? Listen, Joe. I am doing what I'm supposed to do. What I have to do to make sure Kimberly is mine. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm in love. Timothy, listen. Timothy, you are my guy. Timothy, you are my G. I know. My modest man. I know. My monkey. Listen, you can confide in me. Eh? You can confide in me. Tell me what is going on. Eh? What is going on? Nothing now? is going on. A man has to do what a man has to do to survive. I am fighting for love. I am doing everything possible to make sure I win the love of my heart. That is what I'm doing. This is serious. Timothy. This is serious. Okay, hold on. Let me ask you. What do you expect King family to think of you? After serving them, and then turn around to ask for their daughter hand in marriage. Eh? What do you expect them to think of you? What do I expect them? What do you expect them to think of me? Huh? Look, Joe, no matter how I explain this situation, you will not understand. But I promise you, whatever I'm doing right now, you will understand it someday. No, Timothy. No, Timothy. Make me to understand now. As a matter of fact, here and now. I'm Timothy, love. make me to understand that you left your shop Listen. and came to this place to serve as a slave. What is that supposed to mean? No. I'm in love. You've never been in love. So you can't understand that love makes you do. Mologa. How far now? What about they call you? Right now? Yes, follow me. Okay, I will I will be with you shortly. I'm behind you, I'm coming. Look, you don't have to be worried about me. I'm a full grown man and I'm on my journey to finding true love. Timothy! Joe! Hey! This is serious. No, Eligo, my God. You can't tell me otherwise. Eligo, my God. What is this? Why did you drag me here? You would jeopardize this whole thing. There are cameras everywhere. Are you relaxed? You have to. I know where every camera starts and ends in this house. I got you. Okay, so what do you want to say? And you better be quick because I have work to do. <laughs> Jack Robinson, you already have three kids. They wouldn't have an option. But to support our marriage. Yes. Wow. It sounds great. It sounds great, right? Sounds great. It's a great plan. But I can't go down like that. No. I can't do that. Timothy, how would you rather go down? By humiliating yourself, being my father's house boy? Do you know how do you know the emotional trauma this thing is giving me? The shame. The humiliation! Nothing good comes easy. And there's nothing difficult with what I've just told you. I'm finding a way out of this life and you're not doing anything to help it. Okay. My dear, I cannot suffer for nothing. You need to understand You are the it. one that needs to understand me. But it's obvious you refuse to do that. Listen to anyone. He said he was a How can that stupidity be good? What do you want me to say? 
So Timothy, it's a goal he must definitely achieve. My weakness is that his father has only given up again. My friend King is planning to run a new Timothy. Probably to Canada, US, or somewhere. Oh, that would be possible. Then that would be possible. To me, that I know that he will let you give me to such. Not that he's acting like someone who is under his spell. Spell? Why would you say that? Why would? How then? The thing is that I will keep pressing his father to know what he can do to get him out of that place. Hmm. I don't think anyone can get him out of that place. Yes. Because he has already made up his heart and he's determined. We're just praying that keeping our fingers crossed that probably he wakes up next day and say, oh, he's tired and then he goes. If not, forget it. I don't understand this. I don't even understand this guy. Okay. That's it. There's nothing we can do about it. Like us, his love is special. He knows my heart. I can do for you. You actually read the Bible chapter and verse that kept you here. Or when you just told what was said in the verse and you accepted it hook, line, and sinker and moved on, just like that. I, I do not understand now. Is there something I missed? Okay. I would advise you to go back. In fact, study it. Read it line by line to understand what you are actually entering into to avoid hard I know. Because it's deeper than you can imagine. All right. Summoned this meeting for both of you. Yeah. I want everyone to listen to me. Any day, any day, I send you an error. And you notice that she is not in the house. Remind me. 
Because I don't like what both of you are doing. I don't like the games both of you are playing around. Sir, Chief, I'm, I'm not playing games. I'm always minding my business, Chief. No, Chief is, is not saying you two are playing games. All he's saying is that you and Kim should take note. Woman, that's not what I said. No, they know what I was saying. See, both of you are hiding and discussing. The reason I kept quiet is because you always disagree. You will agree, she will disagree. She will agree, you will disagree. If not, if not, you will see the color of my blood. Timothy, Kim, is what she's saying the truth? Kimberly? Timothy, am I not talking to human beings? Am I talking to trees and flowers? No, why would they answer you? Why would they talk? They know, listen, any day I notice it again, any day I notice it again, you, you will see the true color of my blood. Nonsense. His love is special. He knows my heart, yeah. He gives me joy. He gives me happiness. He's my lover. He's my lover. Rap for me, yeah. Rap for me, yeah. Rap for me, yeah. Rap for me, will throw me out of this house okay do you want him to embarrass me some more calm down please you, you have to been... stop this calm down team you have absolutely nothing to be scared of listen the cctvs are currently not working i disconnected the system you did yes and i overheard my dad calling someone to come work on it and the person told him tomorrow morning so we're safe okay what is it you want us to discuss what is it are you really asking me this question? Why are you making me seem like I'm some sort of stranger to you? What is going on? You will not understand, Kim. If I act the way you want, your father will throw me out of here in, in less than two days. Perfect. Perfect. That's best for us. If he throws you out the next minute, you and I are out of this country. As a matter of fact, what are you even doing here? <laughs> And you think he will allow you out with what he's doing? Your father is smart. 
He's a smart man. Timothy, I sincerely do not know what you want. Yes, you're killing every bit of feelings and emotions I have for you. I am getting exhausted. And by the time I lose it all, I will leave you in this house and go far away where you will never see me again. Maybe when you're ready to be serious with your love life, you probably... I don't understand what this boy Timothy meant when he came here to enter rubbish. I believe he still came to ask you for the break. Because he needs to go see him, see his father, at least take care of himself. Sort one or two. Because it's long he left home. Well, I've, I've, I've heard him and I'll think over it. Chief, what are you thinking about? What have I done? I just want to remind you, no matter what, Timothy is somebody's son. He's a human being as well. I wonder why you are interfering in someone's case. Were you the one he talked to? Just grant him the leave. Let him go. Let him go. Anyway, like I said, I'll give it a thought. Uh, keep thinking. It's food. It's your own. Uh, Tim. Tim, uh, see this food. I don't go. Uh, Timothy, is this where you are? Do you know him? Yeah. Um, um, uh, yes. Um, uh, we went to his house to work. My father and I went to his house to, to do an old forestry work uh, some time ago. Good day, sir. Well, will you shut your mouth? Idiot. Who asked you? Every time you're running your mouth. If you are less busy, go to the kitchen and find yourself something doing. 